Hey guys, so most of the time when I make a video like this, I don't give you a clear yes or no answer on whether you should upgrade your phone, but that is not the case here where the answer is more obvious. We have the OGV 30 against the OGV 20, and powering both phones on. Now the V20 is one year old, whereas the V30 is brand new. On the V20, you have the Snapdragon 20 and 4 gigabytes of RAM, and on the V30, Snapdragon 35 and 4 gigabytes of RAM as well. Now, a lot of advantages on the V30 we'll be discussing those throughout the video, but as you guys see, V30 first one to boot up. And V20 up as well. Now, we have a lot planned for the video, and next up, let's go over the specs. Larger screen on the V30, 6 inches versus 5.7, both are Quad HD. The V30 has an OLED screen versus LCD on the V20. The V30 screen is brighter and the colors pop more. On the V20, you have a second screen at the top here, which of course you do not have on the V30. But you do have this floating bar, and this is supposed to have the same functionality as the second screen on the V20. Also on the V30, wider aspect ratio, 18 by 9 versus 16 by 9. So the second screen really not needed on the V30. So the front-facing camera is only 5 megapixels on both phones, but you do have face recognition on the V30, and we'll be comparing this later in the video. On the back here, you have two cameras on both, and the second camera is used for wide angle. On the V20, you have a 16 and an 8 megapixel sensor, and on the V30, 16 and 13. Now the V30 camera is supposed to be better and more light, and we'll have a comparison that way in the video. Now the battery is a bit bigger on the V30, 3300 capacity versus 3200, 64GB internal storage and micro SD card support. Both phones have 4GB of RAM, and on the V30, Snapdragon 35, on the V20, Snapdragon 20. Now the V30 is waterproof, IP68 certified, while the V20 is not, although the V20 does have a removable battery, which is very rare now. At the bottom here, use Type-C on both. And this is the V20, this is the V30. And you have headphone jacks as well. And looking at the design here guys, really no contest at all. Extremely minimal bezels on the V30. And look at the back as well, aluminum build on the V20 versus glass on the V30. And this absolutely gorgeous design here on the V30. As you guys see, fingerprint scanners right here on both phones. Now guys, I always thought that the V20 was pretty hard to hold. It's a pretty big phone. Uh, both the top and the bottom, the sides, much, much easier to hold on the V30. And let me just show you guys a stack comparison here. So overall, in terms of specs, the design, I much prefer the V30, but let's continue with the rest of the test now. So all the apps close out on both phones, and next up we have the apps and games opening. And NBC News first. Advantage here for the B30. Spotify. New app here. Pretty close on both. iFunny. B30. Slight advantage there on photos for the B30. YouTube. Again, we have B30 here and pretty easily as well. eBay. Once again, B30. So you guys are obviously noticing the theme here. Uh, Amazon. Couple more apps and moving on to the games. Once again, B30. And final app settings. Alright guys, moving on to the three games. First one is Modern Combat. Now you should see the uh, biggest difference here with the Snapdragon 35 versus 820. And once again, B30 here. Alright, so two more games to run to. And this one should be about, uh, by about 5 or 6 seconds. And notice the colors on displays as well. Huge advantage on the V30. Final game, Asphalt 8.
and no contest here guys, B30 easily taking everything. So we still have a lot more to test to go, but as you see, higher score on B30, 173,000 versus 149. Sugar zone royalty free. Next up we have the speaker comparison, Amber 2B 21st. Now we have two speakers on the B30, one on the uh, B20. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Chrome next and quit the web history on both phones. And you can close that, go back in. Now we have four sites and the first one is INDB, INDB.com. And I think advantage here for the uh, B30, IGN next, IGN.com. And advantage here for the B30 as well. So two more but to LG and then Samsung. LG.com and this one going to the B20 and final one Samsung again guys final one Samsung.com and advantage here for the B30 so overall web browsing going to the B30 so next up testing out the camera speed on both phones and bringing the Android guy We'll be having a front facing camera test in a minute here. But for now, of course, testing out the rear facing camera speed. It looks like the V30 a bit faster overall. Although there are some exceptions. So next up, testing out the front facing cam on both phones. And again, it is five megapixels. And testing out the stabilization. So next up, testing out the front facing cam on both phones. And again, it is five megapixels. And testing out the stabilization. Next up, we have a rear facing camera test with the V21 and the V30. And it took both standard and wide angle photos. And although the V30 is a bit darker, it also has better details and colors as you guys can see. Um, and also the V30 wide angle lens, it does not have that weird uh, kind of fisheye distortion that you see on the sides like you have on the V20 wide angle. Next up we have the Fingerman scanner speed, again both the money back right here. And test out the speed. Now the thing about this is the V30 is pretty quick if you don't keep on doing it. Uh, if you keep doing it as you guys see now, it's going to be a little faster on the V20. 
So let me show you, do it a few times in a row here. As you guys see V20 there. But if I wait a few seconds and try it again, V30. So in practical use, probably better on the V30, uh, but for the sake of this test, pretty impressive here on the V20. And one final one, just wait about 10 seconds to show you my point, but this one should be the V30. Last will be multitasking and trying out one of the tougher apps first in Asphalt 8. All right, so very good sign on both phones, not reloading. Next up, we have Temple Run 2. Again, very, very good sign here. eBay. So this one refreshing. Oh, that's interesting, actually. Better here on the V20. Spotify. Refreshing on both, and a slight advantage for the V30. YouTube. Now this one always refreshes on Android, and actually a slight advantage here on the V20. Next up we have iFunny. V30. Photos. Pretty close on both phones. Going back into Chrome. Again, pretty close. Next up we have Camera Speed. Rather this camera app. And it's right advantage over the V30. Final one, Mono Combat 5. So yeah, wow, that's actually surprising. So this one is refreshing. That's actually surprising. So this one doing a better job on the V20 than the V30. Um, I think they still have some multitasking things they need to sort out with the V30. So the multitasking is a bit surprising, but I think it's just a software update to fix that. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I think there's a lot of reasons to get the V30 or the V20. Uh, most phones year to year, not a huge improvement, but not the case here with the V30. Now with the V30, you're getting a much better screen display, you're getting a better overall design. Um, the phone is a lot more comfortable to hold, you're getting waterproofing on it, better rear cameras. Just overall guys, a huge, huge improvement here for the V30 versus V20. So the V30 is obviously a lot faster than the V20, but they still need to work on the multitasking for the V30. Aside from that guys, very, very impressive performance here for the V30. So we still have a lot more videos planned for both these phones, camera test comparisons, battery comparisons, and more. Now, if you're new to the channel, you can press the button in the middle there to subscribe. Or you can watch another video right now in the top left corner. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.